I'm just having a look at a game between Liverpool and Watford here and um, you can see a goal went in early on at uh, 8 minutes and before the kickoff, the odds were bigger than that for the draw so we'll just have a quick look at the odds before the, the goal goes in so we'll look at the draw first before the kickoff, you can see that the odds were around just below the 4.5 mark and Liverpool were quite strong favourites under 1.7 and Watford were the outsiders uh, around about the 7 mark before kickoff. But now you can see here that, um, just a minute I'll just drag it across a little bit. You can see that the odds of the draw are th 335, so uh, somewhere below before the kickoff. So if you were in this uh, particular game doing a lay the draw trade, you might be looking for an exit strategy for that so we'll see what happens in this game and um, hopefully there'll be another goal and we can make a note of the odds and uh, use a calculator okay and you can see now that Liverpool have equalised at uh, 29 minutes and their odds have gone right down and Watford have gone back up but the odds of the draw are still no better than before the kickoff really but those odds should allow us to make an exit from the uh, lay the draw trade with it being with the score being one all okay so we'll put these odds into the calculator and see what happens and this is turning into an interesting game Watford had gone ahead again on 32 minutes so there was only a window of about three minutes to uh, make an exit using the lay the draw exit strategy that I'm describing right I've put the two names of the teams in in the calculator and I've entered a odds of 4.5 for the draw and a stake of £20 and that gives us a, a liability of minus 70 up there and so that's our market position at the moment Now I've entered the odds, current odds for Watford after one goal and uh, and Liverpool and I've put the draw in there as well and you can see that at the moment if we, if we traded out put with these stakes of 33.09 and 29.51 for the two teams we would lose minus £7.40 now if, we're not, uh, if we don't want to accept that we can uh, put in some odds for Watford, the winning team and uh, lay a chunk of that 33 if we put uh, if we put 30 in for instance you'll see that we get quite a, still get quite a large um, liability against Watford so if Watford carried on winning uh, that would be the payout so we need to lower that so we'll try 20 20 leaves us with 14 which is more than the £7.40 that we're trying to get rid of so to break even we need to divide that £20 stake there by the odds of Watford minus 1 so we need to divide 20 by 1.72 and stake that just a moment while I get my calculator out and that comes to 11.62.63 11, so if now we lay £11.63 on Watford you see we break even there so if Watford carry on and win the gill we'll get out ok so what we need to do now wait and hope for an equalising goal and then put the new current odds in and then stake the whole lot for Watford that's left and the whole lot there for Liverpool and hopefully we may get out ok now once the equalising goal went in the odds for Watford were 7.4 stick those in there and Liverpool were 176 so now if we lay the whole lot of those two that we should come out with 65 pence so we'll go ahead then in, in Betfair and put those in for Watford 7.4 get those matched up and 7.89 and Liverpool 
there at 176 for 51.15 so we've, if we can manage to do that within that three minute time scale between the, the equalising goal and that other goal that made it the score to one uh, we could should come out with uh, just a small profit of 65 pence so this is a damage limitation ok we're not particularly looking for a profit you probably noticed these, this insurance bet up here a quite a common strategy for laying the draw is to lay the draw and then bet nil nil to cover ourselves if there's, if there's no goals and the game finishes nil nil so now unfortunately I didn't make a note of the nil nil odds for this game but we'll guess that they were odds of about 11 so what we would need to do is put our odds in there and we need a stake in there so that we break even on the draw so to work that out we need to be able to win £70 back to cover that liability if the game ends in a draw so we need to divide 70 by 10 which would be £7 now if it ends nil nil we've got a successful bet there which covers that £70 liability so if it ends nil nil everything's ok we lose zero but that is in another market so there would be commission to take off that that would win £70 so if you're paying 5% commission you have 75 pences to find so the way around that is to stake a little bit extra to cover the commission so I'll just get my other calculator up and we're putting a, an insurance bet on so I'll put some bet odds in there of 11 and we need to win 70 so we need to stake £7.37 and then if we uh, if the game ends nil nil we'll win £69.99 so we'll lose just a penny so we'll put 7.37 in now instead so now that I've increased that stake up to 7.37 we now look as if we make a profit on the draw but actually that only happens without commission uh, so uh, anything that is put in this, these two cells up here in this bet only affects this section of the spreadsheet which is where we've got the draw the, I built that into this sheet specifically just to affect the draw so any winnings from that go on to the draw up there and if, it, if the goal goes in and it becomes a loser just remove the odds and it will be taken off so where before we had minus 70 pounds we've now got minus 737 because we've got this extra extra 7 pounds 37 losing bet there okay so now if we go ahead and do the uh, what we did before for Watford after one goal and we laid a, a chunk of this 33 here we laid 1163 I think it was you can see that um, if we put that amount on we're, we're minus this 737 so we need to lay a smaller amount on so perhaps we might drop that down to 10 and see what it looks like and we're still minus £4.57 so we'll drop it down to about 8 and uh, that takes us down to minus a pound so we might be happy with that so we might go ahead now so just to move on to the next stage we put in the the odds when the girl went in for to make it one all and that was seven four for Watford and one seven six for Liverpool. So now we we'll lay everything that's in there for Watford and everything for Liverpool in there and we'll see what the outcome is of our whole trade at the top. So uh, that's seven point four lay that for 9.22 in Betfair and Liverpool 176 for 51.14 and if we can get those on we don't lose one pound odd of course because we've got this minus seven pounds as well up here with this uh, this insurance bet to come off as well so you can see that in 
a, a nil nil insurance bet is going to cost you a lot more than uh, if you don't use it but it is insurance against no score Right, we'll just look at the problems that you can have with this exit strategy now. Uh, once you've set up your trade and you've you've laid the outsider team that has, um, is now winning, in our case it was Watford, um, and you've got your break-even situation on there if your uh, team goes on to win the game 1-0 or whatever, and you've got this big li liability up here on the draw look, and uh, that can be a problem if uh, your equalising goal arrives well into the second half, maybe 60, 65 minutes onwards. The the odds that you're going to be laying the two teams at uh, may not be low enough for you to make a decent exit. And also, if your equalising goal comes really late in the game, there might not be time for the market to reform, so you might not be able to lay at all. And in so you might be looking at the whole of that if that happens okay so those are the problems with this exit strategy i went quite some time using this exit strategy before i noticed that i noticed it when i had a game that um, had one goal and it went right on to the end of the game and luckily i got out okay with a score of one nil okay, so after that i stopped doing these trades at all simply because of that rather large um, liability there. Now an alternative to uh, laying to break even if on, on Watford is to uh, not lay quite so much so if we, put, if we put a tenner in there instead of the £11.63 we're left with uh, a little bit of spare to play with there. Now we can use that as insurance for if the game stays at 1-0 and we can lay Watford at really low odds right towards the end of the game and that will enable us to get rid of that £60 of liability there because if a, a, an equalising goal goes in in the last few minutes that will be our payout so this is a method of getting rid of that. Again there's still a risk of uh, not being able to trade out if your equalising goal goes in after between about 60 minutes and uh, really towards the end of the game that risk is still there ok so let's get rid of this 60 here now so it gets right to the end of the game and we can, can offer to lay at 1.05 for instance and put the whole 60 in there and that gets rid of that look and we're only left with a, a debt of a loss of 20 pence if Watford's carry on and win the game 1-0. Now if they get goals go if that's once that's got accepted right at the towards the end of the game, that is our position. Now if Liverpool should happen to score two very quick goals right at the end of the game, you would win £90 because you've got successful layers of 20 there and another 70 there. They would be successful layers. So that would be our position if you were to get that matched up 105 right near the end of the game. Now if you want to ensure put that lay on a little bit earlier maybe at 1.1 you'll still do 60 and you're still only risking £3.20 instead of that 60 that was there before. So just by laying uh, a chunk but leaving a small amount against your winning team you can play about at the end if your game is still 1-0 or 0-1 so that covers a very late equalising goal right at the end of the game. OK. Now if uh, Liverpool have equalised and the score is one all, and we've uh, just laid £10 at 272, uh, if we now go ahead with the, the odds that were in there at, um, at the score of one all, we can lay those two amounts and uh, see what happens up there now so we'll put 7-4 in there for 8.49 and 1.76 and 51.15 you can see now that we come, come out with somewhere around 38 pence that's all okay
I backtracked here a little bit again. We're back to uh, no no insurance bet and just our first lay on at uh, when the goal, when there's only one goal scored. Now, if you're lucky while you're waiting for the score to get to uh, one all and the favourite team put two quick goals in before you've done any more laying. Um, that can really work in your favour. Now I'll put some fictitious odds in here and maybe maybe if Liverpool had got two quick goals, which didn't happen by the way, maybe their odds go down to 1.2 and the, maybe the Watford odds went out to 10 or something and it doesn't matter about the draw. Now, now we can see that uh, if we lay our way out now we um, we make 22.47 all round so if I go ahead and put those in you'll see what that does 10 and 5.84 and 1.2 and 75.03 now don't forget the Liverpool odds would be heading downwards if they were winning so you might even do it do even better than what's on offer OK, so now you can see that uh, if you get two quick goals, which does happen, it's happened to me, uh, you come out with a very nice profit. OK. Thanks for listening, and good luck with your exit strategy, if you have a go with it.